Two best friends been apart for ten years, playing games alone through all of their tears. Now they're reunited on a quest for fame, but for now they're just two-bit players. Hey Noah! Yes, Jeffrey? Do you think Jack Nicholson would have been just as successful in life if his name was actually Jack Nipplesen? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> no. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I don't think he would have made it through the fucking door. They would have laughed him out of Hollywood? <laughs> That'd have been like Jack Nipplesen? I don't want to see this piece of shit's audition. But I do- I laughed him right out of Hollywood and right onto the casting couch. <laughs> the backroom casting couch. Mm-hmm. Hey, welcome back, hey, everybody! Hey guys. hey, guys! How's it going? How you been? How's life? I'm Noah. I'm Jeffrey. And who are we, Jeffrey? We're the two-bit players! Good, I don't fucking know anymore. And, and we're back, baby! <laughs> oh, we're back! We're fucking back! And we're playing <clears throat> my... Favorite game of all time, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Which is my least favorite game of all time. Yeah, so this will be really fun. Yeah. Um, uh, also, we're playing it in widescreen and high definition. Fancy that. <laughs> How did we do that? I don't, I don't know, know, Jeffrey. Illegal things? Probably, but just so you know, I do own the actual game. Look at it. There, It flew across the On screen. On N64. Oh, look, you see, I got the case right there. Oh, yeah, it's up in your, your little treasure trove. Yeah, it's in my little glass case. I bought it, a copy of it at Blockbuster for guess how much? 25 bucks. Three dollars. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three bucks. It was like, it was when they were selling, because they were like getting rid of the N64 games. Okay. And yeah, it was three bucks. And it Holy was like shit. one of the first things I ever bought in my life. I was like, Mom, I need to borrow three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, she bought it. I don't think I ever paid her back for that. Had you played it before? Oh, or yeah. You just knew. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. You no. had rented the fuck out. I rented it, and oh, my God. I fucking. This game came out when I was like 10. Yeah. 11, which was the perfect time Your in my prime, life. Your uh, prime uh, um, impressionable time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. This game defined me. Um, let's. It's got a kick-ass multiplayer, but we're not going to dive into that. Let's dive into it. I don't know. Oh, I already beat it. Let's back out. You have a million dollars. Let's back out. How do I back out? There you go. Um, you got to try and find like a, a new game. Hey, new game. Game two, new That's game. That's what we're talking about, I've beaten everybody. this game so many times. Anyways, we're going to dive into this shit. Noah's never played this. I have played like maybe five minutes of it. Without I me? think, you know, you got me to play it. Oh, Nintendo Presents. Yeah, so this oh. isn't the Xbox version. Yeah, this is... So, yeah, so they put it in the Rare Replay. Right, but they changed all the things to be like, yeah, so Microsoft, not Nintendo. Yeah, they just crossed out Nintendo and, and graffitied Microsoft. Over. Microsoft shows up and, like, shoots up Nintendo. <laughs> pulls out, what's his face, the CEO of Nintendo? Uh... Well, no longer. I don't know. What's his name? That guy, uh... Reggie? Yeah. Oh, of Nintendo, yeah, well, he's not, I don't know. I don't know his exact position, but he was he's retired. retiring. He's yeah. retired. <gasps> Shut the fuck up! Is this a reference? This is a parody? Of Joffrey Baratheon. No, of on the uh, Iron Throne. Fucking Clockwork Orange. Oh, okay. Which is a great reference when I was 10. <laughs> I appreciated this. Um, shut the fuck up. What? So he just sits here for a while? Yeah, he's, he's gonna monologue in a second. Okay. This is where my love of milk came in, too. You still love milk to <laughs> I this do day. love milk, yeah. I would drink some now, but I'm out of it. Oh, okay. I fucking love milk. Hmm. But yeah, we're playing this on an emulator. <laughs> oh my god, Jeffrey, no! I don't give a fuck, bro. I own this game on N64 and Xbox and Xbox One. Suddenly you hear some feedback in your room from like a wiretap in your apartment. Uh -huh. It's like, lawyers from the lawyers, swarm, swarm, swarm. <laughs> swarm, swarm, the lawyers. <laughs> like lawyers kicking through my fucking window. <laughs> yeah. But no, I do own this game legit, like... And who's the what? strange fellow that's around my throne? I hear you off or fight. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. Look at all that extra space on the sides. Yeah. You said it all started yesterday. Yeah. A bad bird day. It's one day. It's a real Shakespearean piece of art. Oh, okay. Everything takes place in 24 hours. Nice. Look how HD that shit is. I love it. Isn't it great? I'm in love with it. This is my favorite way to play this game. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Some fucking um, squirrel asshole. I'm feeling things. 
feeling a little squirrely right now. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> Is that his I don't sister? Know. No. Oh. <laughs> Like yeah, it chops off where the oh, yeah, screen yeah. would be. Obviously. However, if you leave your like name and so it constantly reminds you how amazing this is. <laughs> and it also has subtitles, so nice. Not to worry about that. Hi, Barry. Hello, Barry. If you there, pick up. Hello. Oh, anyway, look. I'm gonna be a bit late. Well, met up with a couple of the guys, and they're off tomorrow to some, I don't know, fight some war somewhere. Fight a war? That's gonna come in. Okay. Remember that? I was not, I was nudging you with my elbow. Like Nobody the, the war of five kings? <laughs> yeah, the war of thrones. Okay. I think you want it. Conquer! Put the phone I just broke the, the fourth wall. Oh, nice. Right. Who's round with it? Yours! What, again? Okay. I'm drunk, but I guess I'll pay for them all again. <laughs> if you say so. If you say, I guess. This is where the menu was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys enjoy yourself and all that. The Cock and Plucker. The, name the, the Cock and Plucker? The Cock and with Plucker. With the weasels playing behind them? Oh, see, that's a glitch. But don't worry about that. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> it it kind of glitches a little when he goes into first person, but that only happens like two times in the whole game. Okay. Um, that was one. That you was got one, one. You got them. one more. There's another one, I think, right after this. Okay. I... Also, it glitches every time I hit pause. Yeah. Okay, so. It's with the same sort of static. Ugh. But the rest of it's fine. <laughs> Hilarious. Good Isn't old, it funny? Good old vomit humor. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Guy will, that guy will make an appearance later. Okay. Everything's connected, like Shakespeare. It's a brilliant storytelling see mechanism. See the cock and right plucker. I see it. And now with the widescreen, you can really see where he's looking. <laughs> Into nothing. <laughs> Into complete darkness. Complete darkness. I see. I see. Mm. Oh. Oh. And now he's at a new bar called the Nice and Nasty. Yeah. Nasty nice. Oh. I can't quite make it out. Anyway, it seems... Pretty familiar to me. This remember this part too. <laughs> this is all gonna come back. It's too? all gonna come back. Oh boy. Huh? God, this is like Game of Thrones. <laughs> remember that random character from episode two? Just just wait for season five. Yeah, just when wait. when that scene becomes important. Yeah. This is also important. Look at that fucking rain. You know, this game is impossible. Um, it's over 64 megabytes. Oh, you've told me But they were this able story. to get it all onto the cartridge. Do they which, know how, though? I don't, I'm sure maybe someone figured it out. Witchcraft but, and wizardry? Yeah, but it's huh. not supposed to happen. Huh. More milk? Sire? I love milk. Did I tell you? you it's, it's a well-known established fact. I really enjoy you, it. You love milk. It's creamy and delicious and Ugh. makes me grow tall and strong. That's why I'm six foot three. Makes you a big boy. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm only six two. One day. Uh -oh. With enough milk. Wait a minute. Huh? That's the chair that Conker was sitting on. <laughs> yeah, remember that throne from earlier? Oh, man. It comes back right now. It all comes back around. But who's this guy sitting in his throne? That's Leopold the Leopard? It's the uh, panther, the fabled panther king, but oh, you'll okay. find that out later, okay. pal. All right. Sorry, there's construction happening upstairs in our Malibu office. Yeah. Um, uh, fucking... Um, Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah, so that's another first person moment. That's two. You got two, that's Jeffrey. It. I don't think there's any more. I think that's it. What if you go into first person? You can't. Oh, well, okay. actually, you kind of can, but no, it's fine. You're like, and you're actually forced to at six other points in the game. <laughs> Just every so 13 seconds, you have to... Anyways, so here it is. It's beautiful. We're playing the fucking game. In widescreen, baby. <clears throat> nice. Oh, this is bringing me back. I haven't played this in a while. Huh. Um, yeah, I don't know um, how these controls are set up. Either these are set up perfectly or horribly. Okay, well, we'll find out soon enough. I have to change it every single game. Um, Feck off, crows. Um, Feck off, crows! 
Crows, yeah. This like is Game just of Game of Thrones, man. I'm sure they told them to feck off at some point. Yeah. George R. R. Martin was playing this game in the 90s. It was yeah, like, in 2001, I'm gonna, I think. I'm going to write a book based on <laughs> based this. Based on Conker's Bad Fur Day. But I'm going to take It'll it be about the Starks and the Lannisters. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Shut the fuck up. What's that? What's that? Hey, hey. Who are you? Oh, hello. Can you help me? I I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. Oh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> it's all been destroyed. <laughs> no home for you. Yes, I got Maybe. The Empire came <laughs> and killed your aunt and uncle. Beardy. I will train you. I am your father now. <laughs> Come inside me, boy. I am your home now. Ew. So that's, that sounded weird. <laughs> that sounded awful. <laughs> Come inside me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, Stop. man. Stop. That was fucking gross. So, do you know, so what... What inspired Rare to make this type of Conquer oh, game? Bro. Do you know the answer to that? No, but I knew I have the old Nintendo Power magazine uh -huh. with the like Conquer's Conquer's Quest. Conquer's Quest. Yeah, Twelve Tales. Twelve Tales. Yeah, yes, yeah. with all of that uh, like beta footage. Oh yeah, and promo material. Do you still have that? It's probably my parents' closet sometime. You should frame that. Sometime. I bet that's uh, that's a collector's item. Cool. I don't think you get a ton. Maybe maybe a few thousand dollars. Oh, nice. Um, just chump change, you know. Oh yeah, I gotta press press B. Which I'm, I'm guessing is this one. Nope. <laughs> it's not the beat. No, it's not that one either. Oh, there it goes. It's okay. X. Okay. Oh. It's a little laggy, huh? Yeah, what's it's happening? On my, it's on my old computer. Huh. Yeah, so for those of you uh, wondering, what were those those two-bit buddies doing? Wait, I was going to tell you the history of Conquer. We'll come back to that. Okay, yeah, I guess we could dive into that. What were the, those two-bit <laughs> two two bit buddies? bastards up to uh, during our big hiatus? We took about, what, six months off? Six months. Six months off. But thankfully, we were able to condense it down into only a two-month yeah, Only break. a couple months, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which um, was longer than we originally planned. Yeah, we only gonna but uh, let's off. see what happened. I got sick. Um, uh -huh. I, I got sick. You got sick. Uh, I had a bunch of work to do for uh -huh. my actual job. I'm just feeding this guy. Great. I'm just pressing beer. Keep feeding some beers, man. Um, then, uh, I got a dog. Yeah, that went well. The dog fucking hates Jeffrey's guts. Hates So, like, literally, the guts. minute my dog sees Jeffrey, uh -huh. he's... Goes into a full feral rage. Well, yeah, he's from China. We rescued him from the meat trade, and meat apparently there was a, a red-headed mustachio gentleman in yeah. China that probably severely abused him. So this dog can't even look at you. So recording became a bit of an issue. Yeah, we tried to record yesterday, but we just spent the whole time playing therapist to, to my dog. dog, and it didn't really do anything. Yeah. It accomplished nothing. Anyway. And then my computer uh, oh, yeah. decided to have a swollen battery, so I have to send that off to Microsoft. Yeah, so I'm using my old ass computer to kind of make up for a little bit. And uh, I mean, it's it's it's. And now we're along. back better than ever, baby. <laughs> better than ever, we've downgraded in every way imaginable, and here we are. It's like when the plane's going down, you just start shucking out the cargo until the weight balances out again. Yeah. Also, right? um, I have to change these controls. Smash cut. Anyway, smash cut back. Hey. Bet you missed those good old smash cuts, didn't oh, you? Yeah, you sons of bitches. We we fucking overloaded on smash cuts. We have rollover smash cuts that we didn't use over our break. So this one's gonna be filled with a fuck ton of smash cuts. What the hell are you talking about? Um we have to make up our smash cut quota. Oh, our smash cut. We lose our contract with the smash cut cut company. Okay. Smash cut co? Smash cut co. <laughs> smash cut co? You can smash cut through any pennies. Um, or a rubber shoe. Oh wait, he's he's monologuing. Can we get any further? So what's interesting about this game real quick is that you don't get necessarily rewarded with like Points or experience to upgrade things. Wait, so I thought he, that was like why is that more different? He's like I should crouch more 
I should do something. I should jump, press A to jump extra high more. <laughs> oh, more, oh, more is part of the, oh, yeah, I yeah. see. Anyways, you, keep going. You're an idiot. Yes. Um, so you're kind of rewarded in this game with cutscenes. Hmm. That's like the reward. So it's like very like story driven. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so yeah, so there's like a ton of cutscenes throughout <clears throat> this of like, Bullshit. Cool. Um, I love it. Yeah, you love it. So, anyways, yeah, we took a break. We decided to kind of regroup, and uh, we were just we were just going really hard, and we yeah. just wanted to um, fuck, <laughs> fuck. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> we just we wanted to fuck. Um, <laughs> How are you ever going to get out of this, Jeffrey? I don't know. Maybe I'll go through this dark tunnel hole, and I'll oh shit. Oh, there's a staircase over there. Behind the waterfall. No, that's right okay, here. fine. Anyways, what were you saying about there's why? A staircase behind the waterfall. There was, yeah. Oh, there's a gate behind the waterfall. Oh, okay. Well, Actually, let's, don't humor me. Just let's look at that real quick. Uh, you see that gate? Oh, now I see. I thought it was a staircase. You see it though? I do. Remember that. That comes in handy later. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> like why Hodor says Hodor. Yeah, that comes in later. Okay. <laughs> they explain that. Um, uh, so why did so, Rareware make this game? Oh, yeah. So uh, they originally pitched it as Conqueror's Quest, 12 Tales, some shit like that, mm -hmm. which was like a family-friendly, traditional con or traditional Rareware fair. Which is a traditional rare, Rareware fair based on an Arabian legend. Yes, Rareware uh, fair. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, <laughs> I look like I'm hovering a little bit. Um, this part's a little tricky. You see this door? Uh huh. It comes in handy. Oh, later. cool! Remember that? <laughs> Remember that fucking door? Yeah. Um, anyway, so they pitched this around the time Banjo Kazooie was coming out, and uh -huh. um, they they you know advertised this, and everybody was just like, it looks just like another bullshit rare game. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save some time, and I'm gonna do this real quick. Okay, I um, trust you, Jeffrey. Yeah. I was like, it didn't do anything. Um, it did <gasps> so that. The door, it came back. Now I could go. <laughs> it came back. I could go to that door right now, but I'm not gonna. Okay. Because then we'll skip this part. Shut up. Who's this guy? Mm -hmm. If you think you're coming this way, you can think again. Oh, you're a real charmer. I just want to get past, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece? I believe this guy is also voiced by the guy that voices Conquer. Oh. And Conquer is voiced by Chris Seaver, who wrote and created this game. Oh, really? Yeah, he's the voice of Conquer. He worked in Rareware. What's interesting about the whole Rareware dynamic okay. is that anybody that worked in any of the games in any capacity, because he was like he was like a like a graphics guy. Okay. It seemed like. Oh, he said it, he, I can get a little closer if we want to discuss the finer points. Oh, I don't want to get closer to him, Jeffrey. I just want to talk to him. <gasps> oh! The F, dude! He knocked out your cranberry jam! All my cranberry jam's all over the place, you real oh. jerk. Oh, but luckily I had these floaty devices. Oh, sweet. And look, check this out. You remember that gate from earlier? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. It's still there. Fuck you. <laughs> But you remembered it. Right? I did. Yeah, so that was my book call. Um, Anyways, it seems like anybody that worked at Rareware could at least pitch a game. Okay. And uh, he pitched, uh, he didn't, I don't know if he had much to do with 12 Tales, but he was like, um, since the, Rare was like, we need to go in a completely different, oh shit, I fucked up. Oh, we're good. We need to go in a completely different direction. They went in a completely He's fucking like, different direction. I got direction. an idea for you. Let's just do um, humor that middle schoolers would love. <laughs> and uh, I was in middle school at the time. And it was perfect. And I loved it. Oh, gee whiz. I'm locked in with this incredibly detailed lock. Look at that. That's like... Is that really clean or what? Look at the res on like that. like Unreal 4 right there, man. That's like fucking... Nuts. <laughs> oh, what is that? I got a fucking... Oh, wait. Hang on. Something missing here. Didn't I have a... Ah. Nah. Try pressing B and see what that does. All right, mm. I'll try. Do you want to press B? Uh, you sure you got that? Here, you want to press it? No. I'm trying to say yes. No, it's all you. Press this button. See what happens. <gasps> He's got a pan. Pull a pan out of his asshole. He's got a non-stick walk. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna fuck this guy up. Fucking, oh god damn it. Come on, Jeffrey, I believe in you. This part's kinda. 
Yes! You gotta kind of like corner him. He's gotta, gotta give him a run into you. Oh, okay. And so you he's gotta like be a, extremely frightful first? You get a moment to freak him out. Now, what was the point of this? You went through a door, unlocked a key to get to back out of the door. find out that you had a pan. And what are we gonna do with that pan? Cook some eggs? No, we're gonna whoop the shit out of that fucking bitch that just threw us off the bridge, Oh, bro. the gargle? Yeah, the gurgle. Oh, sweet. Uh, Fox, oh shit, no! no! Thanks for the view, now comment, like, and subscribe, cause we're all just two-bit players.